Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. I know you missed me for a few days, but it's alright. I'm back. We're talking about Wakasa Bay. Yeah, I got it right. Wakasa Bay version of Godzilla 1989, or as I like to call him, Waka. After my favorite rapper, Waka Flocka. Alright, so, Waka Godzilla. What is the deal with him? Well, we get this little emblem, and he's a four star. This little emblem means he's an alternate version. Of course, he's an alternate version of the classic G89 that we've had literally since day one. He's the tutorial character. Excellent. Waka version right here. Energy cost is seven. Love that. Love a seven energy cost. I actually don't really like seven energy on a lot of characters, especially this meta where Earth is pretty prevalent. So a lot of the times you're using most of your energy to get Earth out and everything else is kind of low to support port earth but if you want to be cheeky him for seven is fine i mean this come from me i'm using destroyer like crazy and destroyer starts out as a three and becomes a seven but you could get the final form destroyer for three if your opponent can't kill a flying form this one is just a flat three or i'm sorry flat seven and uh he hits three times i thought originally that the attack would be in total 703 damage it looks like he hits for this 703 damage every one of those little taps. So he's doing 703 times 3. I mean, at this level. He's level 17, he's doing 703. Three times. So he really is super good at uh, just destroying the health bars of really high health characters. Destroy uh, Earth, Leo. He does a really good job of that. Uh, kind of not great against the swarms because he can only target one at a time. However... When he falls below 50% health, he pulses for damage equal to, uh, obviously you can see right here, this range damage is equal to this attack. So instead of doing um, one big hit, or I'm sorry, three hits, he does one big hit for that range damage. That is pretty decent. It, it'll knock characters away, which is great, and it will pretty much kill any swarms that are near there. So versus Destroyer, that's, that's pretty good. Five second attack speed. I almost feel like this is wrong, and you'll see when we get into the gameplay section. I almost feel like this is wrong, but that that's how it's labeled. He's got... I think he... he what is it? He has more power than G89 Classic, but he has more health, or does he have less power and more health? I don't remember what the deal is with them at level 1. I mentioned in a previous video if you want the specifics, but... uh. He's a four-star, so it's a little hard to get pieces for him. He's rentable this season that this video is going made, as I'm sure you're all aware if you're at least watching the video now. Um, but I like him. I, I, I really don't have any major problems with him. My biggest problem is that uh, I believe for him to be at the apex of his power, he needs levels. He really does need levels. And even with this rented levels, I still don't think he is doing enough because of how prevalent some really heavy hitters are and how high up a lot of the top players where I'm playing have them. But, um, because he's level 17, most of the stuff on my team is in the 20s or higher. So he's not doing as much damage as I would like, but that's purely a level issue. I could G-man him, you know, I could, uh, I could pay and, and get a bunch more pieces for him, right? But I'm not going to do that. I really think that at the moment, my opinion on him for the last few days had been a little on the lower end because uh because i felt like he was too weak but i've seen some higher level ones play and they're pretty solid i think he just really needs levels and you're gonna see a lot from him so we're gonna hop into the gameplay i like him a lot hopefully i can find a bunch of matches and not a bunch of bots like i normally do on the computer i don't know why that is that's just is how how it has been all right so here is our first battle I don't know how to say his name, but his uh, title was From the Fog. So, we're just going to call him From the Fog. And look at that. Even if we don't get to play a lot of the Wakasa Godzilla, he is also using him. So, I love that. Love to see that when a plan comes together. And he's got Gamera. So, our flyers are going to be not a ton of help. But, I'm hoping that we can get our Wakasa up in time to be helpful and not have our earth just immediately ganked right here see okay so he hit his he okay so you just saw there he hit the pulse it knocked mine far enough back and detonated his pulse as well so we do not like to see that but look at this damage against that bam done done scooped up this mothra is going to give him the free hit but they're lined up perfectly for my earth 
Oh, and I was able to get that hit off, so one of them just died. It was the Mothra. Cool. So let's get um, some of these evolutions out. So already you saw the head-to-head -head of the two Wakasa Godzillas, and you can see the power that they're bringing to the table. It is it is a... Oh, so, oh he had the, the the heal. Oh, there's another Wakasa Godzilla. He, he's got really good power behind him. He's a little... He's expensive, but that's to be expected with a, a character of his strength and he really is uh, level dependent at the end of the day you're not going to really get a, a ton of value out of him i think if he's lower level and like we've talked about a lot on this channel that there are a ton of monsters in this game that do have benefits even at lower levels uh mothra 2019 gg says guy mothra 2019 is especially one of them where you don't really need levels on her because she does her job uh, at any level and the same was going for uh, Kumo Augment, once upon a time. And Fourth Angel, I guess. But we're getting sidetracked. He, I think, needs the levels. He performs really well at lower levels, but he is. I feel like he's underperforming. I feel like he has a bar to clear. And, and he will be able to just pump out an insane amount of damage once you get him to like 20 plus i think he's really going to shine i think he's going to be one of those characters that you want to invest in in the long run if you're determined on using him especially on the field as a unit all right we got a rainbow mothra leader this time still on london uh my i don't know i was kind of thinking about this while the matches while i was waiting for the matches i almost wish that godzilla wakasa was a six cost um, I don't know. Oh, there's another one. I just feel like in this meta in particular, the seven cost is a very valuable slot that you kind of have to be very careful about what character you want there. And I feel like at the moment there are more optimal characters to choose from. Uh, let's do like this. Let's get them together. Because it'll be work for Mothra, AoE, and Earth, and get them dead. Cool. Um, but yeah, like, oh, I, I could drop Leo. I could drop the the Biolante, you know. I, I have all these other options to choose, and I feel like in a pinch, I'm not really dropping Waka as much as I would like. You know, Earth is like a no-brainer to drop, but with, and like Destroya, I feel as well, is almost like a no-brainer. Uh, but sometimes with Waka, I find myself going, do I really want to use this character right now like what benefit is it going to give me to place him right now you know and and that's what i feel like i'm running into a lot but if you can support him you know in a meaningful way like like this some lower cost characters right up on him i mean he is a extremely strong piece like right here he cost seven and then these two were three each so this leo's gonna you know fuck up my mothra right here but she's going to get some hits on on the Leo, and 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 then Wakaz is going to finish it out. That's that's big on its own right there. And then the group of them right there, they got pushed back because of him, but he died anyway. So Mothra didn't even get a lick in. But look, Wakaz is all the way up here. We're going to drop Earth down, and, and that's a lock, right? Like, he is beefy. He is really beefy. And honestly, I should be using Mothra as a lead with Waka and Godzilla on the field because they're going to survive way longer but Mothra leader or Mothra Mago is also just so good on the field right now too with the rented levels and the cost reduction that I am torn on which I want to use but I think optimally if you are running both Waka and Earth you should probably run Mothra uh, as a lead I like having her as a unit but I feel like it's more optimal to use her as your leader especially for for Waka because he's got a lot of health all right, we got the Legend of Auto Island. I believe we've fought this player before on the channel. Not entirely sure, but I think that they're good. I, I recognize this like gap right here in the name. I think they're, they're a good player. Gigan, I'm expecting a rush. Maybe Waka Godzilla. Like clockwork. There's Waka. Uh, maybe a Mogera or something. But we got... Um, our Waka will put here in the water, so he goes maybe a little bit slower. We can kind of get a push going with him. Uh, we're about to get Bio. Bio is pretty good. There's, uh, what's his name over here? So we can do this, and then we can do this. I don't know what levels his are at. Probably at or similar to mine. There's the Pulse Away with both of them. 
There's a heal up there, but we can get with Bio, maybe a good, uh, a few good hits, and maybe kill Waka and GMK at the same time. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Good clear right there. Excellent clear. Okay. So there's Waka on Waka. I mean, I called it a mile away. I saw, I saw Gigan Leader. I said, Waka's coming. There he is again. So we have Earth, and we have the Kamakaris. And this, this Godzilla is still, you know, he is still vulnerable to swarms, but obviously not as much as gd9 gd9 will be stopped by the kamakaris no doubt um this godzilla you know he's gonna he's gonna pulse them away which is unfortunate but um that is just what it is so we're gonna play mothra here gonna get both of them uh with her beam hopefully it's enough yeah see that the walk is so strong right there but we have earth uh you know rainbow mothra's not doing a ton of damage so earth versus this fourth angel i'm not super worried about we have Waka and Earth on standby and Biolante and um, what's her what's his name? Leo. So he might die here. Literally pixel health. Okay, that's gonna kill him. Kind of a dick move, but I've done the same. So they're gonna drop maybe a Waka or a GMK. Yep, okay, there's GMK. So hopefully this is enough distance to clear the AoE. But he's not going to hit this Mothra, but we're hitting the leader, which is going to be nice. Walk is going to all probably take down the GMK. No. Close. Close, close, but no cigar. So we have Dimension Tide. We can just pull them over and have Earth deal with them. But um, realistically, I could just Kamakaris this. Okay, so there's a G89 that's not uh, Waka, Waka-fied. So let's send the Kamakris up. Hopefully they, all right, they missed. He's going to pull them into G89 though, but we're going to wreck him there. And then they're going to go after the Angel. Not super concerned about that. Leo up the side. Earth is still alive. This is a pretty good battle so far. Mothra's putting in some good licks right there. That damage down, definitely unfortunate. I'm expecting a Rainbow Mothra any second. Because we know they got him pocketed away. So. Alright, so we played out. Our Earth is going to die. Let's drop Earth again. They healed up. So we didn't get the GMK, but we got that fourth angel out of the way before the fourth angel could do any major damage. I would like to play Waka kind of in the midfield with Bio. I think that's going to be the most helpful. His GMK's having a stroke. Trying to move away. Okay, so there is. Let's move them into the water. You move them close too. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Because we can... Is Waka going to be able to hit him from here? Okay, the pulse kind of fucked everything up. That's fine. We can do this. Keep them fighting over here. He's going to take down... Or she, I guess, is going to take down the... um. Uh, I couldn't remember the name. It doesn't matter. He's dead. They'll take him down. And then, obviously, Earth is going to get put back up here. He's going to explode, but we're fine there targeting there we're chilling we could drop waka we could drop leo here we could drop the kamakaris probably be good um let's do like this let's drop this and then let's drop bio here i think that is gonna maybe be a lock i don't particularly want to kill him with the dimension tide so we'll drop that and then we'll do kamakaris here Kind of to step him up. And then Mothra cleared out. Ah, and he gave up. He couldn't even get that last lick of health out. That's all right. So you can see the power of Waka on both sides. Even if I maybe underutilized him in that battle. That other Waka was really strong. And and double Waka with the uh, pushing characters away. He just got a lot going for him. I do really enjoy the kit. I do think that this is a, you know. I'm, I, I am a fan of the alternate versions. I went into in-depth about it on stream a few nights ago but i like waka do i think he's meta no do i think he's meta breaking definitely not um do i think he's a nice addition to your team for sure i think both units this season rainbow mothra and waka are both exceptional choices to add to your team do i think that they are make or break no but do i think that they'll help you out sure if you don't have a high level destroyer uh i don't have a high level final wars godzilla or gmk uh, Waka right now this season, excellent substitute, works really well with Earth and Mothra Leader, and those are my thoughts on him. So let me know what you guys think about him down below, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.